We don't separate between the company and its owners. If the owner is a Zionist, then what is supporting him being a Zionist? His company. So I'm not going to be buying if I, it, and I know that a company, the, the owner is actively accepting and supporting the apartheid in Gaza and the West Bank and this oppression that I have to boycott his company. You can't separate between the two. What, what, how is he so successful? And does the boycott matter? Yeah, it does matter. I'll tell you what it matters because it's a micro decision that Allah's watching. That's how I view it. I don't view it as, oh, this is going to hurt his business. Probably not. I view it that if, I, if I'm on Amazon and I'm se- selecting coffee beans to order to my house, I can order from Starbucks and I can order, from, I mean, nobody buys Starbucks from Amazon, but just as a hypothetical. I can order Starbucks. Or I'm, or I'm, I'm ordering a French press. I can order it from Starbucks. I can order it from random company, some random company. That is a micro decision in our lives, right? The way to avoid catastrophes is to avoid micro losses, small losses. If you avoid 20 micro losses a day, that 20 times 365 times 300 is 6,000 losses. 6,000 losses, 6,000 little bad things is going to bring you a problem some way, shape, and form. All right, Hamza, take it away. Tell us what we should think about, uh, what's his name? Schultz? Charles Schultz, whatever his name is. Howard Schultz. What should we think about Howard Schultz? And are we boycotting Starbucks? Yeah. So Howard Schultz is an interesting figure because he's a, you know, very avid supporter of Zionism, of Zionist causes, all of this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, And in the past, uh, Starbucks has been targeted uh, as part of like the BDS movement. Um, But Starbucks actually released a statement in the past and they said that, you know, we don't support the occupation in any way. Our company doesn't support these things, all that. And even the BDS movement, the Boycott, Divestment, Sanctions movement, they even said that Starbucks is not one of kind of the objects of our boycott. And what the BDS movement said was, we are a targeted boycott. So we target companies that we know can successfully kind of be affected by these uh, boycotts. So mm-hmm. they, tra- they normally target not super big companies. Because if you want to target like McDonald's, McDonald's is in a sense kind of too big to fail. Um, it's one of the biggest corporations in the world. But if you target a company like SodaStream, SodaStream was op- operating in illegal West Bank settlements. There was a campaign of boycotts against them. And then so- SodaStream actually moved out of the settlements. So that was kind of like a win for the BDS movement in a sense. Um, but recently what Starbucks did um, is their workers union released a statement basically saying that we stand with the Palestinian people, we stand in solidarity with Palestine, all this sort of stuff. And then following that, Starbucks, um, the workers union actually ended up taking down the tweet and Starbucks actually sued the union and they said that you were hurting our image, all this sort of stuff. Um, and then Starbucks also released their statement that, you know, we we stand with, you know, the Israeli civilians that were killed, all that, ignoring also that at this point, it was what, 1,400 Israelis that were killed. And I think as of like half an hour ago, over 7,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza. So they have issued a statement for the Israeli civilians that have been killed, but not for the over five times kind of Palestinian civilians that have been killed. So there's been a, a large boycott of Starbucks um, really around the world, around the global south, all of that. Um, and there are some interesting tweets uh, that, uh, Umar, if you want to put up, like if you look at like countries like Kuwait, countries like Qatar, the Starbuckses are empty there. Mm. Um, so this has kind of been a targeted boycott campaign. I was actually looking up if Starbucks stock has been affected. I found one article that says the stock has been affected. Um, and then I saw another kind of article that says Starbucks stock is going down, but it didn't mention that it's because of this kind of boycott. Uh, so this is kind of the issue with kind of boycotting these big corporations is that you're not going to impact them in the way you can impact a more mid-tier organization. But I still think it's important for kind of what you said, that as Muslims, it's not always for us about what creates the impact. Sometimes you just have to make kind of the ethical, moral decision. 
Um, so that's something that's also very important. Like we have the hadith where it says, in Sahih Muslim, it says, if the day of judgment is happening before you and you have a sapling in your in your hand, you plant the sapling. Yeah. You know the sapling is not going to come to fruition because the day of judgment is happening. But you still kind of put in, you still make the ethical decision in that moment. <clears throat> that's exactly what I want to mention. Um, I don't expect when I do a boycott, um, the first tier of my expectation is not damaging that company. You know, when, if a nation was to boycott the products of another nation, that might be different, but as an individual, I don't expect it. My primary, uh, motivation for a boycott is that Allah's watching me and he judges me on micro decisions. Okay. Look at the prophet's hadith in which he, he, he looks at people and say, uh, or, uh, sorry, he, um, describes people who are in uh, Jahannam. He said they didn't enter by big sins, right? They entered by small sins, which they despised. Despised meaning, ah, it's, just, it's so tiny. Yet these things, if you do 50 of that a day, 50 a day, how much is that in a year? How much is that in a, in a decade? It becomes an unmovable mountain, much like the climate problems that we have today. One trip to the supermarket, well, what is that going to do with my car? Yeah, but times 5 billion, right, a year, now you have a problem. But because it was micro, it's like having sand. Someone threw sand in the studio, on the camera, in the couches, on the TV, in the keyboard. I would have much rather them take all that sand, put it in one boulder, and throw it in the, uh, through the window. Right? Because I can identify that. Sand, it's so small, right? That it just gets everywhere. It's impossible to get it out. That's why I want people to completely change and transform their view of action. Okay? Results are always results of micro deeds. Very small. What does Allah tell us in the ch chapter of the Quran that is small that every child memorizes? Ev mithqala dharra. The little atom's weight of a deed. You're going to see it. Okay, why? Well, what is this other than like a couple trillion atoms, right? Atoms are important. What is this body right here except for billions upon billions of cells, right? A bunch came and formed a heart. A bunch came and formed a stomach. A bunch came and formed uh, a skin, etc. So if we don't care about the micro actions, our personal micro actions, we're not going to succeed, okay? So that's why, that's my motivation is that Allah's watching? This is a micro action. It's not gonna, it's in itself affects Starbucks. I don't care, right? But do I know for a fact that a guy built his that, that built this empire, which I love, by the way. I love the business. I love the business. I love the branding. And I and I, I even like their 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 product too, right? Like the, the coffee itself. But and I use it as an office space. My justification for ever drinking. If I ever need office space, I buy a, sh uh, you know, like a little small cup of, cup, and I, I consider that my rent. I feel like I need to buy something because I'm using their space, right? I have meetings there. I sit there for, for, for uh, some downtime between events or meetings or something. We we'll just all go there, and that's my justification for it. But if the owner is now expressly stating that he's a Zionist and he's in his personal life, I cannot separate these two things. I can't go there. So that's where, now, for the current situation, they mentioned sympathy for Israelis, not for Palestinians. That's one thing. Secondly, that's one issue. Secondly, they, um, their issue with the workers' union, to me, is a non-issue. The workers' union used Starbucks to, and made it appear as if a branch of Starbucks is supporting the Palestinians. Starbucks said, no, no, stop right there. To me, that's not an issue. I'll tell you what, the biggest issue is Howard Schultz in his personal life, right? Is he, he personally, and, and, and pull up that Arab News article and I'll read it to you guys. He personally, in his personal life, has been involved, has received awards, has a very co cozy relationship to IDF-related organizations. All right, Hamza, what do you have before I pull this ar ar article up? It's an old article, very old, mm -hmm. but doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what do you know about Howard Schultz in his personal life? He donates to Zionist causes. He's an avid Zionist in himself, all of mm -hmm. that. I know that Starbucks itself 
they always say that they don't support. It doesn't make a difference. It, the owner is the one who's the beneficiary, right? Like if I discovered that Phil Knight all of a sudden uh, is donating money to, I don't know, some racist cause, I'm not going to buy his product. I don't care if Nike itself says, no, no, we, we don't do this. And you also keep in mind there's a two people are talking out of both sides of their mouth. People on one hand are, if, if you support the, the Zionist IDF in one uh, sphere and then turn around and donate some money to the Palestinians, you're just a munafiq. Okay. And that's why Sheikh Mujir al Khatib recently said if you make dua for Ahl Gaza, okay, and you stop there, all right, your dua is incomplete. You must make dua against the people killing Ahl Gaza. You have to make dua against the oppressor. May Allah stop them. At the very least, may Allah guide them and stop them. If, right? If you're a soft hearted person. And you say, well, I, you know, I, I don't want to be so rough. Okay, may Allah guide them and stop them from oppression. 